Hi guys, trainer Amy Jo here today. We're gonna do a little sit down chat about my best tips for busy moms. If you're trying to get into fitness, if you're into fitness and you're just trying to um, find more time, be more organized, uh, get more fit, but trying to juggle a family, um, right here, I'm the girl to talk to. So uh, let's chat about it, let's talk about it. Uh, these are just my, my fitness tips, things that have worked well for me. Um, so take it or leave it, but I think it's also great to just share amongst other moms. Um, so even creating this video was really important to me because I knew that other women would uh, comment on it and also share theirs. And I'm open to uh, hearing what you guys do as well. Uh, we can always have room for improvement, right? So uh, here's just a few of the things that I do, um, you know, to stay organized within my family. Not only schedules, but food and, um, you know, how do I simplify shopping, grocery shopping. Um, also, how do I fit in my workouts? How do I consistently get those in? Um, so uh, one of the things that I do is make a workout schedule for myself. So I think it's really important to just schedule that time in. Um, and obviously there's gonna be days where you gotta go pick up your sick kid at school or um, you know, you have something else that comes up, work runs late, your boss needs more something out of you. Um, it's not always gonna happen, but when you schedule it in, um, then you're able to really uh, hold yourself accountable. And schedule in rest days as well. So if you feel like uh, this day, you know, I've got to get my kid to soccer practice or basketball practice. I have to work all day. I've got to do this. There's no time usually on a Friday. Uh, then schedule a rest day and just don't give your, don't put pressure on yourself to get something in that day. Or it just becomes a day that's like, okay, I'm going to get 10 minutes in right away in the morning and that's all. And, and then you're okay with that. Um, so plan ahead and uh, schedule in your rest day. Um, that also can help. Uh, also, I enjoy having a gym that has a daycare. That's also really helpful for me um, to rely on that and to not, not know that I can go at any time or when the daycare is open and, and utilize that. So something like that's really nice to even just have in your back pocket. Um, I do work out at home a lot, um, but the more options that I have, I found that I've utilized those and then there's also like, oh, well that option didn't happen, so my workout's not happening at all. Um, that has become a little bit more um, reliant when I, when I have a few different options. Um, also having home equipment, like I was just discussing. I work out at home a lot and it's really helpful for me to know that I can wake up in the morning and my house is quiet. I can get uh, some coffee in me, some, some water and take off and do uh, you know, a treadmill workout and then pull out my mat, my kettlebells, my workout and get a lot done there. Um, so I would encourage you guys to invest in some home equipment, uh, you know, treadmill or kettlebells, um, even a spin bike, uh, things like that are uh, space savers and they're not as expensive as you would think, um, especially how much time it's going to save you as well. Uh, and utilize our videos, utilize the Athlean XX for Women videos a lot to see at home um, ideas and to get creative. We have tons of them out there for you, so utilize them um, and put it on your schedule. Also, I think what would help is if you reminded yourself that if you are limited on time, that weight training should come first. I think that's the biggest tip that I can give women is sometimes they feel like they don't have enough time to get in a workout. It's like, well, you can get a great workout in in 20 to 30 minutes. You're getting your heart rate up, um, you're burning fat, you're with weight training. So if you um, only have about 20 to 30 minutes, focus on the weights first. Focus on, on that as well. Because of what it does to your hormones, not only just increases muscle mass, but it's the way that your body responds to a force, being in you being lifted and pressing against a force, pressing against a weight. Um, there's something about that that really just creates endorphins and helps uh, increase the fat burning, the fat burning hormones. So, Always just think, if you have limited time, put the weight training first. Uh, how do I organize my family? I think that one of the ways that I do that is I make sure that I wake up earlier than everyone else. That's probably something that's really worked well for me, is we all go to bed at the same time at night, um, but I make sure to get up a little bit earlier than my family so I can get lunches made, 
Um, I can create my mental checklist for the day. Who's picking up who, when? Um, who has lunch today that needs to be made? I can make my own lunch and my husband's lunch. Um, and, uh, and then kind of even think about and scheduling for dinner as well, what's going to be uh, on, the, on the dinner list. So sometimes you have to go day by day. You know, this idea of meal prepping on Sunday, that's ideal and that's in a perfect world, but we don't live in a perfect world and I think we put a lot of pressures on ourselves to be perfect um, that uh, sometimes you lose track of just being flexible as well. So I, wake, I like to have that little time in the morning to, um, to kind of do those things if, uh, if things aren't already prepared for the night or the day. Um, I think also a, a big thing is realizing um, that it's really, it, it's not selfish that you're working out. Something that I hear a lot from friends or clients is, uh, I feel selfish when I take time for me. Or I feel so It's not selfish, it's important, all right? So this is taking care of yourself and if you want to be the best that you can be for your family, for your employers, um, for your friends, you need to still take care of yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to take one to two hours a day of working out, but um, for you to schedule that in and for you to take time for yourself, it's really, it's really important. It's not selfish. Um, so I would focus you, focus, put your focus in, uh, you know, maybe translating that if that's an issue for you, because I think that helps um, your outlook on how much you're putting into, you know, trying to find a workout. So I think we're also, we also find ex excuses um, rather than finding um, solutions uh, to, you know, putting your health first. Um, and then one of my other uh, topics for my, my other tips is an Instapot. I love an Instapot. Um, I cook with it all the time. Um, I got mine from Amazon. I think they're amazing. Um, literally chicken, fish, you can boil eggs and in like zero to crazy minutes. It's unbelievable. It's really time efficient and it comes out really well. So um, you can take a frozen chicken or a frozen steak and um, it's like you cooked it all day in an Instapot. So that's another uh, tip I use a lot of at home um, for, for cooking things. So there's a few of my ways that I like to stay organized. Um, how I fit my workouts in, and also a few things of how I uh, cook in my in my kitchen, and, and my favorite my favorite way to do that. Uh, comment below. I'd love. This is like a great way for us to be sharing tips with other moms. So let's start the conversation and let's start um, encouraging and giving other moms other ways to uh, be creative, be organized. How do you fit your fitness into your life? Um, and what do you do for nutrition? What do you do for your kids' nutrition? How do you pack their lunches? And how do you stay organized um, in the food department? I'd love to hear that from you guys. Thanks for joining me today. I am trainer and mom, Amy Jo. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.